seize the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I'll be glad. I'm pressing on to higher ground. To my heritage in Christ. Oh, it's my heritage in Christ. Can we declare together? This is the day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I'll be glad. I will rejoice and I'll be glad. I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on to higher things. It's my heritage in Christ. It's my heritage in Christ. Whoa. Nothing can stop my prayer. Nothing can stop my prayer. Nothing can stop my prayer. Come on and put your hands together. We give you praise, Jesus. Let's declare again. This is the day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I'm pressing on to higher things. It's my heritage in Christ. 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 I 
his praise his praise not go out and he shall do no do you understand what you're Thank singing Jesus, who is he is my joy, my joy unspeakable and your praise his praise is not go out and your shout do no it's all to Thank Jesus who is worthy he is our joy and every praise is his Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop. I don't know about you, but nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Not even sickness. Not even death. Oh, nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Cause he's been so good to me. Oh, nothing can stop my praise. Miracles in your life. Nothing can stop my praise. Can you declare this? Nothing can stop. Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Not even fatigue. Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my praise. Nothing can stop my Hallelujah. I don't know how you praise the Lord. I know there's different expression. But the Bible, every time the word worship or praise is mentioned in the Bible, there's always an action attached to it. So we learn from that, that to praise and worship the Lord is not an internal thing. It's not like, I'm just going to sing in my little voice between me and Jesus. Every time we see in the Bible, first time we see worship, there's an offering attached to it. The next time we see worship, there's the woman who's crying out her eyes and she's wiping the feet of Jesus. Then we go all the way to Revelation. We see the creatures, the, the, the angels, and we see the, 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 the elders. And all they do is bow. They are bent. You can't be in worship and be so comfortable with just me and Jesus. That doesn't happen that way. Worship is, a, ooh, worship is an action word. So if what you've been doing has no action attached to it, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think about it. Yeah, take a moment. Be like, have I attached an action to this? Was this just comfortable stuff? Was I singing the song because it was cute? Even at home, if you've been just watching and you flip through the channel and the popcorn is in the microwave, if there was no action attached to it, it was cute. Was it worship though? We don't know. So... Now we're going to sing the bridge, like the good Christians that we are. And as we declare that this praise is to no other. Can you give him a praise that only you can give God? I got to give him mine, you give him yours. And this shout is to no other than Jesus who is worthy. Let's, get, let's praise God that we move out of the way and we do the next song. I know, right? Do we got it? So here as well, there must be actions attached to our praise. Hallelujah. We'll do that one more time and Brother David will come and lead us in an act of worship in giving. Woo! And 
are ways uh, through which we can give. We can give via envelopes. Uh, ashes can pass around envelopes. Uh, we encourage you to write uh, specifically uh, to what you're giving. Is it tithe? Uh, is it just an offering? Uh, or are you donating to a specific cause? Uh, we can also give by texting DPCOG and texting that to number 77977. Uh, for those of us who are watching on Facebook, uh, you can press that donate button. Uh, if you have your smart devices, you can go to our chat app and also click on that donate button. You can also give through the DPC uh, cash app. Um, and also, uh, there are QR codes, I think, that can be handed. If you came in, uh, you might have seen some papers along the way. Uh, so you can scan that QR code and that can guide you uh, through that portal. Sorry, I have technical device, uh, issues. Uh, I think you can hear me better now. Um, so, yeah, we can give through those many ways that I've mentioned. Um, for those of us also watching online, I think you should be seeing some guiding information on the screen so you can follow that uh, and be able to give. Um, giving is an act of worship, as our sister Joy mentioned. Um, we can worship in many ways. Um, and we see in the book of Malachi 3.10 a promise that is tied to that act of worship. Um, so I do encourage you, for those of us uh, who uh, can't give, please give, uh, for God will bless you abundantly. For those of us watching online as well, I do encourage you, please, please give. Um, I'd like to pray for the giving tonight before we go on to the announcements. Um, just humble yourself as we pray for the offering. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for just the ability to be able to be here this morning. We thank you, Lord Heavenly Father, for what you've given us. For Lord, you've given us in many ways. And Lord, accept our humble offering. Uh, it's not much, but Lord, you know through our deepest um, places of uh, work, uh, you know uh, how much we have in our bank accounts, Lord Heavenly Father. So even if it is a penny or just a few dollars, Lord Heavenly Father, you know where it's coming from. And Lord, in your manifold wisdom, we pray and believe that, Lord, you will use it for your work and it will effectively do your work here on earth. Lord, we pray all this while believing in your mighty name. Amen. Um, so a couple of announcements. Um, there will be a baptism on Sunday, December 18th. And as we prepare for that, uh, there will be a couple of classes. Uh, one will be on December 8th and then another one will be on December 15th. And that will be on Zoom at 7 p.m. Uh, please, you encourage to register for it. Uh, you can contact Sister Sonia for that. You can also go to our guest center and I think you will be able to be guided. Um, another announcement is that our Christmas service will be uh, the morning of December 25th. Please, you're encouraged to invite a friend, a family member, a colleague, or somebody who you feel uh, you, bring, you need to bring them here. So the service will start at 11 a.m. that Sunday morning. Uh, following that, uh, for the New Year Eve celebration, uh, that is scheduled for December 31st. Uh, please also do invite a friend or a family member. The service will begin at 10 p.m. Uh, with fellowship and sharing and also a meal. Please stay tuned for more information uh, in the days ahead. Um, quick encouragement, uh, as a church, we do have a website. We do have a Facebook uh, page. We do have an app. So uh, we do encourage you to connect with us uh, through those portals uh, and find more information. If you've not downloaded the church app, we encourage you to do so. Uh, for those of you who are on Facebook, if you see the like button, please press it. Um, that is all for us this morning, and you're very much welcome uh, to this service. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Praise the Lord.
Glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'll say amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. As we prepare for the rest of the service, would you rise on your feet if you can and we will call upon Jehovah God and worship him. Earlier today we said, I don't know what promise God has made to you in the beginning of the year. I don't know the battles that you fought throughout the year. But I know that we serve a God to whom nothing is impossible. The Bible says, is there anything that is too hard for the Lord? He is the God who does wonders, signs and miracles. Hallelujah. He has time in his hands. He's able to do what he promised to do to you in just a second. In just a blink of an eye, he's able to fulfill his promise in your life. So I don't know what you're praying for. Hallelujah. Throughout last year and this year, God was able to give babies to those who've been crying and the Lord has provided. Hallelujah. God has given a job to somebody who's been asking for job. People experience increase in salary like never before. Okay. God is able. Would you stand and say, I believe. I believe because we serve a God who's able to do exceedingly, who's able to do abundantly, is able to do above everything that you can ever ask or think of. He's never late. Oh, he's never late. He's never late. He will do it again. He's never late. Hallelujah. Yes, we believe in Hallelujah. They say this mountain can be moved. That's what they said. They say these chains will never break. That's what they said. But they don't know you like we do. Hey, there is power in your we sing it together they said this mountain they said this mountain can be moved and they said that these chains will never break they said hey! will never break but they don't know you like we do but they don't know you like we do there is power there is power in your name we've heard that there is no way We've heard that there is no way through. We've heard that the tide will never change. We've heard that the tide will never change. Hallelujah. But they haven't seen. But they haven't seen what you can do. There is power. There is power hey. in your hands. There's so much power. So much Oh, oh, oh. 
because I believe that what we are about to do right now it is part of our praise and worship to God because it is a testimony it is a testimony of God's grace of God's faithfulness of God doing only what God can do in worshiping God today in celebrating the Lord we would like to say thank you to God with a special family can the Lutete family come forward with the miracle babies hallelujah Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that we have the responsibility to teach the children the way of the Lord. And when parents choose to bring their children in the house of the Lord, it is significant and symbolic to say that we bring them to God because in loving God with everything we have and everything we are, we also bring our children. 
the Bible tells us that children are a gift from God for us. So they have brought the gift of God to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that today, even as they come today before God, they are pledging that they will share the faith and the knowledge of Jesus Christ with the children. We do not baptize babies. Amen. We believe that they have to reach the age of maturity to be able to accept the Lord Jesus as their own personal Lord and Savior. But according to the prescriptions in the word of God, just like Samuel was brought in the sanctuary, just like Jesus was brought in the temple, we bring children to dedicate them to God. Hallelujah. And some parents choose to have godparents, just people accompanying them in this beautiful, yeah, she's talking accompanying them in this beautiful journey amen you know they say it takes a village right to raise a kid they are choosing us as a church and certainly uh uh the family as well to be they uh yeah you can take them tell them they're telling you that they want to be part of this praise the lord it's been 17 years and counting since I had the baby, so I, I'm like, yeah, new technology in this car seats. Praise the Lord. Boy. All right. Hallelujah. The parents today, amen, they are pledging that they will teach their children in the ways of the Lord. Amen. We pray that uh, upon doing what they're doing today, the parents are going to once more I pledge before God and his people that they are going to bring these kids up in the ways of God. Praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you their names. I cannot tell them apart at this point. Praise God. But one of them is Sophia. And the other one is Julia. Don't worry, Mama. I have my cheat sheet here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Who is Julia Lutete Nsuka? Oh, hello, Julia. Praise the Lord. And then we have Sophia Lutete Bebe. She is the speaker, right? She's the one always talking. Yes, yes. And she's smiling. So she's happy to be here. Praise the Lord. They are the daughters of Espoir Lutete Vingadio and Bijou Lusongon Zeba and the godmother it's the Benzati Benze with her husband, Mr. Benze. We just praise God for you. So we are going to uh, come together. Please take in the, okay, just come forward a little bit. Maybe one of each of you on one side. Praise God. I'm, I'm here. I think we're going to do a picture perfect. We can face the congregation. So we have all of you together here. Amen. We are going to speak to the parents. Amen. As they pledge to bring these children in the, uh, according to the word of God, all you have to do is we do. If you don't, we fire you from just kidding. Praise the Lord. Maman Bijou and Papa Espoir, by coming forward before God and his people, do you hereby declare your desire to dedicate yourselves and Sophia and Julia to the Lord? If so, Respond by saying, we do. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, you do. Amen. Because they have got parents, we are going to ask them as well. Upon coming here, according to Proverbs 17 and 6, do you declare that you are going to take good pride, great pride in seeing this new generation know God and raise them with their parents according to God's ordinances? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Having come freely, I ask you that you enter into the following commitment with God in the presence of his people. Amen. That you will ask, you make sure that um, Julia and Sophia will walk in the abundant life of Christ. That you parents are going to partner with the church to provide a Christian home of love and peace to raise them both 
in the truth of the Lord's instruction and discipline and to encourage them to one day trust Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Do you pledge to do that? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you do. Praise God. So we're going to pray for them. I'll ask all of you to just stand. And we are going to speak God's blessings and grace upon them. Praise the Lord. And let me not forget. And I'll ask the church. We also pledge. Praise the Lord. And as the church make a vow as well as believers in the body of Christ, we have the responsibility to teach the gospel story to our younger generation. In fact, in the Old Testament prophet Joel commands to us to tell of the God's work, to tell God's work to our children and let your children tell their children and their children, children to the next generation that the Lord God is good. And if you believe that this question, this vow fits to what you believe, would you say, I do? We do. We do. Thank you. Thank you. Let's pray. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What we've been praying for yes, Lord. has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Father, in the name of Jesus, there is not enough words to say how grateful we are to welcome Julia in the body of believers. You have gifted her to espoir and to be Jew, my God, and to this generation. We bless Julia in the name of Jesus. We dedicate her to the Lord. We speak grace and blessings upon her life. We declare by the name of Jesus Christ that Julia should be the head and not the tail. Always above and not beneath. Whatever she touches shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that goodness and mercy will follow her all the days of her life and she will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We declare and decree by the power of God in her, filled with the Holy Ghost at her early age, she will walk from glory to glory, from victory to victory. We declare and decree that she will not be influenced by the things of this world, but she will receive the instructions of God from her parents and her church. That she will follow in the footsteps of those who are bringing her in the house of the Lord today. That when she's of age, she will choose Jesus Christ as her Lord and her Savior. My God, let her presence in her family be a blessing. Because of her, cause her parents to prosper in all aspects of their lives. My God, there will be nothing that this child will want. My Lord, be her shepherd. My God, be her covering. Yahweh, be her strength. And because of her, may you be the shepherd, the strength of her parents in the name of Jesus. My God, for them, open the windows of heaven and pour out such blessings. My God, that there will be a blessing to many other families. My Lord, as they celebrate you for these miracles, my God, we thank you that forever and ever, their gratitude to you will be shown in the way they bring up this child. Lord, we bless and honor you in Jesus' mighty name. We dedicate Julia Lutete to the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, she didn't make a sound. She's crying. I think she's in the Holy Ghost. Can you see what Hello, Sophia. Has done. Or is smiling. What Praise God. Been Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless and honor you for Sophia. We bless you, Lord, for this 
wonderful, energetic young lady. We bless you that she is a miracle to her parents and to her family and to the church and the whole community. We bless her in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that Sophia should be the head always and not the tail, above and not beneath. Whatever she does, she will prosper in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that goodness and mercy will follow Sophia all the days of her life. And she will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. We declare and decree that because of her, her parents will prosper in every area of their lives. We declare that every plan and plot of the enemy against her lives are defeated in the name of Jesus. We dedicate Sophia to the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. What we've been praying for has come to pass. See what the Lord Thank has you. Done. And we will sign the certificate. By the witness, the Godmother. Has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what? Yes, they have two different certificates, two to different individuals. Praise the Lord. the Lord. God bless you. Come on, praise the Lord one more minute. Hallelujah. Has come to pass. See what the Lord has. Come on, will you sing it again? See what the Lord has done. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you for your faithfulness, Yahweh. We Can honor you, you for what you've done for the Lutetia family. And we celebrate you in advance, oh God, for what you will do in the family who are just expecting the way they were. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord for a few minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, our service was dedicated to the uh, dedication of these wonderful babies, and we just thank God and praise the Lord. Hallelujah for these beautiful babies, and we thank God. Maybe one of these days, the parents will come and just testify of the goodness and faithfulness of God and this beautiful miracle that we all have witnessed. Hallelujah. Truly, truly, God is good, and God is faithful. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Praise the Lord. Let's open our Bibles in Chronicles chapter, 2 Chronicles chapter 20. The word the Lord has given to me. We have shared about this during our first service. Amen. And I feel like the whole church should just be a part of what God is doing in this season. So we are going to read the same passage we read during our first service. Hallelujah. So that none of you miss out on what the Lord is doing during this season. Please open your Bibles in Second Chronicles chapter 20. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to read from the Amplified Version today. If you have found the word, please feel free to stand. And, uh, and, and we are going to read the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am, the, really the whole passage goes from verse 1 all the way down to verse 18 or so. You can read more if the Lord allowed you to do, allows you to do that. But just for the purpose of time, I am going only to read a few verses and uh, we are going to pray and finish the service today. Praise the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and I'm going to read from verse 2. The Bible says, then it was reported to Jehoshaphat 
a great multitude has come against you from beyond the Dead Sea, out of Aram, Syria. And behold, they are in Hazazon Tamar, that is, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this, praise the Lord, Engedi, I guess that's the word, praise the Lord. Then Jehoshaphat was afraid and said to himself, and the Amplified Version adds a little bracket and said, determinedly as vital need to seek the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast throughout all Judea or Judah. So the people of Judah gathered together to seek help from the Lord. I don't know why my Bible just shifted. Praise the Lord. Did anybody do something to my Bible? All right. I'm going to go back to New King James. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, verse 5, Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah in Jerusalem in the house of the Lord, before the new court and said, O oh Lord God, our Father, underline that verse, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in your hand is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you? I'm going to read verse 6 again. And said, O oh Lord God our, of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? Do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in your hand is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you amen you might be seated in God's glory hallelujah the Bible gives us a picture or at least a snapshot of a special section in the life of Jehoshaphat. Maybe it's good for us to understand the context, hallelujah, of this man. Jehoshaphat was the son of Asa, one of the kings of Israel, the kings of Judah, praise the Lord. And under his father's rule, the name of the Lord was praised and they did not give the themselves to idols. As Jehoshaphat takes over uh, kingship after his father, he also follows the same rules. He goes up uh, after uh, the heart of God. He worships the Lord. Uh, the Bible tells us that Jehoshaphat was one of the kings uh, who fought against idolatry. The Bible tells us that he made sure that all Judah knew that the Lord God was God. Hallelujah. That the Lord God God is one and there is no other God that was to be worshipped in Judah. He was a king who gave God the place of God in the whole kingdom. The Bible tells us that uh, he sent out teachers throughout Judah to all small and remote places uh, to teach people the law of God. He was not just content that the city of Jerusalem hallelujah, the capital of Judah was in the north of God, he made sure that even in remote places, people knew that God is one and worthy of, of our worship. Hallelujah. I just want to put in our mind that he was a man who was determined that God is God and there was no other like him. I just want to put in our mind that this man surely had a relationship with God. So in the face of adversity, there was no hesitation from him. He knew where to go and he knew where his salvation will come from. When God is your priority, when God is your everything, when God is your advocate, when God is the first one you think of, when God is the one you want to spread the news about all over, when God is the one you want to publicize, God will always remember you when you need him. Hallelujah. He made sure that everybody knew that this king believes in God. He made sure, like some of us in our homes, we make sure that our family know that we worship a true God. The Bible tells us that he is the king who will send soldiers to battle and he will put worshipers, hallelujah, musicians in the front row. 
and uh, the name of Jehoshaphat, for some biblical scholars, it is associated with jumping. A king who appreciated the type of worship, not all reserved, praise the Lord, not all contained, but an exuberant kind of praise and worship. It is believed that every time he sent out an army to go to war and as he set uh, the worshippers before them, they did not go in a conservative way of singing lala melodies, sweet little melodies, walking ceremoniously before the battlefield. I want you to picture that he is sending people to battle. They are soldiers uh, who are pumped up, uh, who have shot sharpen the javelins, uh, who have the sword ready, uh, who are chanting. Uh, when people go to battle, they have chanting of victory. They are telling the enemies uh, that we are going to bring you down. Have you ever seen a match uh, of boxing uh, before they even start? Uh, as they move the six packs and muscles, uh, they are looking at the enemy. They tell them, you coming down today. You going down today. These are the attitude uh, that soldiers will have. So I believe frankly this wise king will not send in front of them some worshippers who are going to sing some little songs that will kill the model. Are you understanding? He was not going to send them with people who are going to sing melodies that will take down the heat. But I believe that the people he sent with them, the worshippers he sent with them, there were those who would sing songs and dance before the Lord and celebrate victory and say look what the Lord will do with you enemy. We serve a God of miracles. I am sure there will be dancing people of God. I always wish I knew how to dance. I know I make a few moves here and there and then I get lost in my own steps. But where is our people of God? You were supposed to help me. Where are the drummers and the people? Because this passage here, we have to set ourselves in the mood and in the atmosphere of what was going on. At this point here, people of God, Jehoshaphat, he is surrounded by enemies. And I'm sure he's wondering, and I don't know the size of the enemy, but it looks like with the knowledge he had, the capacity he had, saying that he's a a, a, a king that really raised a great army. But I'm sure the enemies were so great that he panics a little bit. People of God, I just want to tell somebody don't feel ashamed if you panic a little bit. Don't feel ashamed if you got scared sometimes. Some of us Pentecostal, sometimes we play it, I don't know how. When somebody goes through something, you pretend as if you are not scared. You pretend as if you are not. No, no, no. Sometimes the enemy is just too great and you say, oh Lord, I don't know what's happening here. Jesus come and rescue me. People of God, sometimes when your enemy is big, naturally you will fear and you should not be ashamed of it. The Bible tells us that Jehoshaphat got scared. He was stressed under the pressure of the number of enemies he had. But I praise God because he did not die out of stress but he knew where to take his stress. I am telling some it is okay that you got scared for a minute, but there was a place you take your fear. I want to tell somebody, it is okay you feel the sh you felt the shame sometimes, but there is a place you take your shame. I don't know if I'm calling to, I'm talking to somebody. It is okay that you cried. Don't pretend, no, I don't cry. And they ask you, how are you? Like me, I say, and I'm hurting every part of my body is, is hurting. And you hear me say, I am fabulous. I am not pretending to be fabulous. I am just saying I am hurting everywhere but I know where to take my hurt. I believe in a God who is the God of the army of heaven. A God who never loses. A God who stands strong. A God who raises the dead. The God who wipes the tears of those who cry. 
So I will not apologize if I cried yesterday. I will not pretend I don't cry. Yes, I do, but I know where to take my cry. I will not pretend I'm never scared. Sometimes situations are just too complicated. The year is almost ending. My God, you promised. And I was telling somebody, you start counting days. Say, Lord, you said 2022. But right now, we only have about 25 days, Jesus. Jesus, uh, what are you saying? Uh, sometimes stress can come, uh, but I want to tell you, uh, don't be too busy trying to fight the stress. Uh, I said, take the stress in the presence of the Lord, uh, because that's what Jehoshaphat did. He took it to God. And listen how he speaks to the Lord. Oh Lord of our fathers. Hallelujah. And I'm sure by saying this, he's remembering everything that God has done in the past. He's remembering maybe his uh, 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 great-grandfather David, uh, how he fought all the enemies. Hallelujah. Maybe he's remembering uh, uh, one of his ancestors, uh, uh, Moses, uh, who fought in the desert and God uh, gave them victory with men who were not trained for battle. Maybe he remembers, hallelujah, how Goliath was brought down by a young boy who was not qualified to be a fighter. Maybe they're looking back and say God had made a way. He opened the sea and he caused, caused us, the people of God, to walk on dry land. And he closed the sea on the whole army of Egypt. He's remembering all this and say, oh Lord God of our fathers. People of God, the testimonies of yesterday should be your weapon for the battles of today and tomorrow. If you can say with me, oh Lord God of our fathers and see what the Lord has done yesterday. I was telling the people of God today that yesterday I went on YouTube and put on a very great dancing song and because none of you was there, I could make my own moves, praise the Lord and I started dancing while I was in there with my my dance, I start thinking of the Lord. Every list I gave God a long list for 2022. I look back and I saw how God made some impossible things happen. People of God, my testimony is great. My testimony is great. I start looking back and say, God, hallelujah. I was thinking a certain way, but God, you came and rescued me, put my mind back to Together, put my life back together, restore peace and joy. I don't know if I'm speaking to somebody. There were just things uh, that had broken my heart, uh, but God brought me back together. People of God, I don't know about you, uh, but I serve a God of miracles. Uh, oh, I don't know about you, uh, but He's a God who restores, uh, who wipes tears away, uh, who removes the shame uh, and causes you to sit among the great. Uh, I will not apologize. I cried a little bit, but I took it to Jesus because I knew that that God will give me a victory. So yesterday, I danced a little bit. I said, my God, you are good. Devil, you thought you got me, but once more, you lost in the name of Jesus. And I start looking up and I think that I am still believing that before the 31st, God will do it. Um, just like Jehoshaphat uh, I start dancing uh, I say God um, until the 31st uh, I believe you can do it. Uh, so I brought before God my dance and my worship because God uh, I told him um, are you not God in heaven? Are you not the God who rule over kingdoms and nations? Are you not God? who never lose a battle. And I told God, this it was just me talking to the Lord, who can stand before the Lord? And I sang the song and I gave it a little African twist. Hallelujah. No, you guys, you guys, hallelujah. 
I sang, I, I'm going to teach you to the worship team. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. I'm going to have to teach you my version. Because it was a dancing one. It was a dancing one. And I praise God. Because who can stand before the Lord? I remember Jehoshaphat. He stands before God and says, Aren't you the God of our fathers? That means unto the God who wiped tears away, unto the God who gives food in the desert, unto the God who opened uh, uh, ways in the middle of seas, unto the God who made the barren. And I was even thinking about the celebration of today, unto the God who make bar barren's parents, unto the God who do the suddenly and the almost over, and God shows up, unto the God who would do the unexpected. The unbelievable, the impossible that I can't believe God did this too for me. God is in the business of surprising us. I came to tell somebody today, like God spoke to the prophet, to Jehoshaphat. In 2022, you've done your best. You fought what you could fight. You cried over what you could cry over. You did what you could do. But it is now time to leave the rest of the battle to the Lord. In verse 15 of the second chronicle, the Bible says, The battle is not mine. The battle is the Lord's. One thing that I like about Jehoshaphat is that he acknowledged that my knowledge of army strategy is one thing. Hallelujah. The capacity I have to lead an army to battle is probably impeccable. But there is space for a God who never loses. Sometimes, despite our knowledge and capacity, we lose. But there is a God who never loses. Who never lose. That's why because he believed. Because he trusted the Lord. He put the army. In second position. And praise and worship. In first position. What does it mean? People will say. We celebrate when we have won. We are still going to battle. Why are we celebrating? You know why we celebrate? You know why we worship God? Because he's, he has already won. Oh, I don't know if you're understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God might still allow you to visit the battlefield. He might still allow you to go through it. But the joy that I want to bring to you today is that even though he allows you to stand on the battlefield, the battle is won already. Because the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. The battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord. I submit that as we walk surely, decisively, Trust in God with hope higher than our circumstances that we walk with trust. We walk with praise. We walk with worship. We walk acknowledging that the battle is already won. I suggest you put on your best dance already. I am not saying the battle is over. People of God, those worshipers, they were face to face with the enemy, but they danced. But they sang. They probably and most likely jumped. They chanted. They told the enemy, how dare you come to us? We come to you in the name of the God of the armies of heaven. And this God, he will never lose. Instead of crying for what needs to be done, I suggest we dance about it. What do you think, people of God? 
instead of worrying about what is left to be done, what about we sing praise about it? Instead of wondering who will rescue you, what about we set our eyes on God and start praising him because he is the best friend anybody can have. He shows up in the light. He shows up in the dark. He shows up in the heat. He shows up in the cold. And he always wins. Will you stand with me and start praising God? Hallelujah. 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 Worship team, I don't know in what language or what song you are going to sing. Please make the one that we will dance, praise the Lord. Not cute little dance, but warrior dances. Praise God. And some of you will see my moves if the dance is right. Can you just lift up your voice where you are? And start praising God. Start praising God. Hallelujah. Praise Him for where you've been. Praise Him for what He's done. I know many of you have testimonies that for what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Many of you started a year renting. You ended up being a homeowner. Some of you, and I am celebrating with one of my daughters. Praise the Lord. You started the year with a naked finger. You ending the year with a loaded finger. You, you will know her in a few. Mando Robo Santa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You started the year not knowing how the year will end up, but you are ending it with celebration. Hallelujah. Bijou started the year with only her honeymoon husband. Hallelujah. Espoir. And now the house has more than one child. People of God, we started the year one way and God is ending. I don't know what you are waiting for. I say we dance about it. I say we praise God about it. I say we say thank you about it. Maybe you are going through something. Maybe you lack one thing. I say stop praising God for provision. Stop praising God for deliverance. Stop praising Him for solution. Stop praising Him for the way He will make a way there is no way. Stop praising Him for your miracle. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and praise the Lord. My God, we bless your name. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we bless your name. My you are the one who's fighting my battle. We bless you, God. You are the one who's fighting my battle. Yeah. You are the one. 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 We bless you, Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. You are the one who's making the way. You are the one who's making the way. I said that you are the one. 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 Everything is working for my good. Everything is working for your good. You are the one. You are the one. You are the one. Hey, Yeshua, Yeshua, Hamashia, Lion of Judah, Abu Nechemba, Abu Nechemba. Hey, Yeshua, Hamashia, Lion of Judah. We bless you for what you're about to do. Hallelujah. Jesus, we declare that every battle is given unto oh, the yes. Lord right now in the name of Jesus. We oh, declare yes. and decree you whatever we are going through, we give it to God. Every struggle, every tear, every worry, everything that oh, going yes. on into our lives, we give it to the Lord oh, yes. in the name of you Jesus. We declare and decree one. that this month of December is a month of miracles, of oh, open yes. doors, overcoming, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pizza, in the name of 
of Jesus, we declare that every enemy of our faith, oh, every yes. enemy of our breakthrough, oh, yes. every enemy of our lives, we put them under yeah. our feet, we crush them in the name of Jesus, oh, and yes. we declare that we shall walk oh, yes. from glory to glory, from oh, victory to victory, in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus name in Jesus name put your hand on yourself and declare I am blessed oh come on say it like you mean it I am blessed I am highly favored by the Lord I declare and decree until the end of 2022 I am the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. I will not be overwhelmed. I will not be marginalized. I will not be tossed aside by circumstances. I walk in victory in Jesus' name. I walk in victory in Jesus' name. I will finish strong in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name, yes, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. We love you. And we are always, always praying for you. Have a fantastic week. You are the one who